So this is what we would call a DIY backyard waterfall kit. So we have an aqua basin. It also comes with a waterfall spillway yes. and a chunk of liner. What happens so nice with this one, which I think, I hope a lot of homeowners, a lot of contractors pay attention to, is how to hide that aqua basin. The aqua basin is a four foot by four foot square and this looks nothing like the shape of it. This is gonna look really cool too. I love really the way you've separated every area. Like you have no idea that on the other side of all that is a pretty big pond. Wow, it is day three out here and we are just getting rolling. We have a lot of stuff going on today, but we also have a lot of projects that are going to get finished today, which is an incredible feeling because we actually feel like we can breathe a little bit. I love the fact that Tim's EcoStream is really coming together. We have the plumbing that is now being trenched to get installed back behind me where Taylor and the rest of the guys are working. Tim's over here. What's up, Tim? How are we doing this morning? Doing well. Doing yeah? Good. Yep. Looking good, dude. I mean, it, it is really coming together. I love that we've gotten to this point so far after only two days of work. Two days and a, yes. maybe an hour so far this morning. I was just kind of explaining to the viewers, we've got the plumbing that's getting trenched in over here. We've got a three inch line that'll be yep. running from the five to nine that's sitting in the pump vault that will feed the waterfalls. The main waterfall. And then we have a secondary pump, which will be a two inch feed for tributary waterfalls here that will feed into that kind of faux wetland area back in through there. But it will also be split off and ran to our circulation jets, which will be pushing out from underneath the deck. Right. The framework for the pond is essentially done. We just have this little section over here yeah, to just finish, the, right? The wetland area there is all, all we have left. Good. So we're going to knock that out this morning we've got the bridge in so we can basically finish up this entire area in through here you got Corey over here slapping bricks over here to these guys what up Cruz you guys remember this guy and this fella from our last video when you guys were working with Tussie landscape installing the hardscape and they are back to give us a hand and lending their expertise so Jack's over here helping them with the patio how do you feel about this more I love, contemporary I love this this is our secret garden our raised raised secret garden here and uh, has a little bit more of a formal vibe but kind of an old world formal and I just I love how it's coming together. Love the pavers. These guys do incredible work and without them we would probably be behind at this point in time. So Cruz you look a little tired. You both do. Yeah. You guys are working hard doing snow so thank you so much for coming in. This area will be finished up today. This area will be finished today. We're, we're gonna be really Will you 85, 90 percent finish after? Will you then. promise me we can start that little secret falls and back in the little campfire area? Promise that? Yes. Sure. Good. I'm going to hold him to it. So I'm going to be the slave driver today and getting things worked out. We also, one thing I neglected to mention yesterday or earlier in the video from yesterday was the fact that we are doing a stand bottom down in here. So towards the end of the video, as we're cleaning stuff up, I will talk about some of those challenges as well as the benefits to having a stand bottom in your water feature. But we have a lot of work cut out for us today, like I said, but we are going to be knocking stuff off the list. So it's going to be check, 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 and we are going to roll. So let's go. Thursday and things are looking pretty amazing super far along unfortunately yesterday I couldn't be here for even 30 seconds in fact I never even came back here so it's super cool for me just to come back and see how far along things have progressed Tim is definitely further than any of other of his peers at this point yeah <laughs> 
It's pretty awesome, but what I'm loving about the final push today is the thing he's building. He's building what I would say is gonna be probably maybe the most replicatable project yeah, yeah. any homeowner can do in their backyard. Absolutely. I mean, we're taking up a space of what? I mean, the aqua basin's four by four. Four by four aqua basin. So an eight by eight foot eight. space. Yeah, maybe eight by 10. So eight by 10 foot area. Uh, it's gonna fit kind of in the back corner. We're gonna have this whole like kind of north woods. Yeah, secluded little forest nook yeah, kind forest of spot. Nook. Yeah. It's gonna look really, really good. Let's just kind of go over the install of this really quick. Let people know what uh, they could either do themselves or how we're going to make it a little bit more custom with probably some right. larger rocks than maybe the average homeowner could use. Like Brian said, we have some little bit larger rocks that we're going to be using, some machine set boulders. Our frame rocks are going to be kind of like right in here. We've got one here, one here that's going to funnel the water into the final pool. We're going to dance up with some, with some big boulders, kind of zigzag a little bit, and we're going to start that waterfall probably right about in here. It's not a real long run. We're going to build this whole thing maybe out of six to ten rocks oh yeah absolutely somewhere in there you know how you can tell he's a past artist of the year because he uses the words like dance when he's talking about water <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing up there? We're hanging. Gee, Leah. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I mean, how long have we had these things? I want to say I want to say we've had them five, six years at least. They still work, right? They, we just plugged them in and they work. These are tree alliers, you guys. Trademarked aquascape tree alliers. <laughs> gonna be amazing. So it's gonna kind of serve as our roof line in here to enhance Mr. Wood's intimate space. Look at the grin. Tim Wood is in intimate. <laughs> Tim, what's up? You look way, way better than any other contractor that's been here on a Thursday. <laughs> it has, no it has nothing to do with all the facial hair. <laughs> <laughs> this turned out awesome. I don't know if you got a chance to actually count how many rocks you used, but you said someplace between eight to ten. We have, I'd say probably ten. Ten rocks. Ten, ten major rocks and some little stuff. What I love so much about it is that cavern style in there. Yeah. Talk a little bit about what kind of sound do you think that's going to create? That's going to be sort of a low rumbling kind of a watery sound. It's not going to be your high pitch like a sheet waterfall. That sound's going to bounce off the mini canyons that are in there. It's going to just really kind of reverberate with a Nice. And what happens so nice with this one, which I think, I hope a lot of homeowners, a lot of contractors pay attention to, is how to hide that aqua base. The aqua basin is a four foot by four foot square, and this looks nothing like the shape of it by bringing the gravel out a little further and exactly so it just yeah, looks the, the so much more natural the big stump you know the boulders around can't tell it's there at all and then something i know you believe in quite a bit and i believe in quite a bit is plants like plants make or break every project yep. and the way these are just kind of hanging out over the rocks really helps soften up that transition where the harsh edge of the rock might meet the soil and so having some height having some lower stuff a little bit of moss in different areas is going to make this thing look good something greg always says is if it looks good dry it'll look good wet it should look a whole lot better wet right <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna look really cool i also love it next to the stairs yeah right? those two lines kind of merge together but yet they're blurred by the plants at the same time yep. I mean, who doesn't want to walk up and down a set of steps you know in, in the yard big flat stone, ste stone steps like this yeah uh, waterfall right beside you perfect yeah I think um, there's so you know how there's the psychological part of a bridge and everybody wants to cross it. I think there's also something super psychological about stone stairs and that people will just want to sit on. You could put a bench right next to it. You could put seats right by it, looking this way. But some you know people are still going to want to just sit right next to that as close as they can. Close into the water. Exactly. It looks great. How are you loving the progress so far? I'm so happy. Yeah. With it. yeah you guys really kick butt. Oh, you kick butt. It's your design. It looks awesome. This is going to look really cool too. I love really the way you've separated every area. Like you have no idea that on the other side of all that is a pretty big pond. The majority of yeah. what's here is the on booth. the other side and you can't, you have no even, idea. Even through here, I guarantee everybody watching this right now wants to know what's past those buckets mm -hmm. and they can't see it. If you're on the other side, you want to know what's over here and these things lit up are going to be either super cool or give you a sunburn. I think, <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> awesome. 
You found the only piece of timber we had and you just said we had to do something with it? Absolutely. Nice. What are you guys working on? We're gonna make like a little lamp post thing for the, the top of the Oh, that's hey, awesome. For the, yeah, oh, no. <laughs> more and more of those. Good. Tim said he wanted it and we said give us two hours. Because you didn't have your tools. Because we didn't have anything else Any to tools, do. right? <laughs> Nothing better to do, right? I can't wait to see what you guys are doing. Well, don't, don't record this. Okay. <laughs> We're just, we're just testing. Oh my God. Oh! Yeah. Boom. Woo! <laughs> so awesome. All right, we got some nice koi here. Boy, that's a beauty. How many you guys got? 10. 10. Well, that'll look good. A new temporary home. It's kind of like the fish are going on like a holiday. That's a vacation in Europe. <laughs> Holiday. <laughs> I'm going on holiday. If they like it. Oh yeah. Do you see that one just said thank you? They love it. <laughs> they love it. Probably the clearest pond we've had to date, huh Chris? It sure is. Bro. Right? <laughs> So there's five, we got five more coming. What's so nice about it, you can actually see, there's a, we have some big jets down in here, and the jets are actually pushing the fish around quite a bit, which they love. I mean, koi are just carp, river dwelling fish, and so they love playing in those currents. What I really wanna see is if they start going up through the stream, but there's so much current for them to play with on the bottom, and this sand bottom, they're just gonna love, because all day long, they'll just kinda like pick at that stuff, and kinda churn it around in their mouths, and then spit it out somewhere else. They're already starting to do that. <laughs> wow. We finished, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. It was so much fun. So it's crazy to me because like you were just like all the other artists, and I'm trying to get an idea of what you wanted to do as a design and not until the last second. <laughs> right. And you're just like me, like you procrastinate, you procrastinate, you procrastinate, yeah. and then you say, Oh yeah, I better get you something, right? And yeah. So you had, down a, you had a really you a quick little sketch on a piece of notebook paper. And then I saw you for the first time. It feels like it feels like a month ago, but it also feels like just yesterday. Yeah. We were sitting right here, and we were just kind of talking about the layout. Did right. it turn out the way you wanted it to turn out? Almost exactly. Yeah? Yeah, which is well, crazy. Well, that's yeah. crazy. Even more crazy, because like Greg was saying, you didn't have a crew or anybody that came with you. Right. So you're trying to get what's in your mind into mine, and into Chris's, and into Micho's, yeah. and, our, and our whole team. Right. Uh, we had a couple new guys, mm -hmm. Kyle and Garth from Timberworks, and, and Joe yep. from out in California. Yep. And uh, it's just, it was so fun to see everybody come together and build what you wanted to build. Yes, it was a lot of fun. Something I think you really took into consideration was the views from the house, the views from the shed, right. and how all of these spaces really play together. So even though you created three different vignettes that were completely unique to themselves, it's yep. still like you could do all of this in somebody's backyard and it wouldn't feel weird. Absolutely, right? because they're secluded enough, but yet they're interconnected in the perfect sense. So one of my big goals from this design was to be able to showcase some different design styles that we have. So, you know, maybe some of our customers would, would look at the eco stream and just think, my property is too formal. It don't, we don't have the right kind yep. of vibe for this. And that's fine, but if, if this vibe isn't right, then probably the formal area, yeah. or maybe the little back meditation nook would, would sure. be. So we wanted to, to show people kind of the range of what we can do from a small project to a larger project intricate detail super detailed type stuff and then some more basic elements as well and i just love like you said how it all kind of just flows together really nice well like always you know tomorrow we take this whole thing down we invite the next artist of the year so chris suing now nature escapes is coming yep. out here what advice would you give chris just be ready for some fun some hard work and bring it i know you'll do a, a, a kick butt job